So most residential miners have a pretty humble start when it comes to their first mining rig. A lot of people end up with home-built frames and kitties. <laughs> lower end older school or less efficient gpus and then they kind of slowly start upgrading hardware you know better bigger power supplies slowly getting better deals on newer more efficient gpus to replace the old less efficient gpus getting new mining frames or making new mining frames dealing with heat management upgrading motherboards to support more cards multiple power supplies splitters risers you name it this right here, this frame, not that one, is actually my first mining frame. So it's all aluminum L angle I got from a home improvement store and then it's pop riveted together. So originally this had, I wanna say 2060s and 1660s on it, as well as maybe even a 1060 here and there. I upgraded most of those to 1660 supers and 2060s and then they went sort of to AMD I try to keep Intel systems, or sorry, NVIDIA systems and AMD systems segregated as much as I can, just for tuning simplicity. And now, other than this 1660 Super right here, which is a Micron memory Asus Dual, everything else in here is RDNA 2 AMD. Today, what I'm going to do is swap all of this into a proper new mining frame, a single frame, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. The main reason I want to do that is I would really like to stack my two home AMD rigs to save a little bit of space where they uh, abide. And the other one is this looks like total turds. It's functional, but it looks terrible. So a little bit of a vanity boost as well. But what I'm going to do is straight up unplug all the power connectors on all the cards. And I am going to take a Sharpie and I'm actually going to label the card and the riser and the riser cable that it goes into so I can put them all back in the correct order with the exception of this. I've already strategically placed this card in software to be the 12th card. So all I have to do is slot in the 6800 reference I have right here and it will copy the tune from the 6800 that is card number 11 and off to the races we go. So I'm gonna pull all the power cables right now and I'm going to mark all the risers and cables so I can get all these cards back in the correct order once it's transferred to the new frame. All right, so the cards are all out. Motherboard next, but I'm gonna have to pull the uh, power supply out. Mainly just zip ties, but it does have a screw. There's the other half of the old frame, and of course the pile of cards and the new frame as well. Unfortunately, there's no great way to put power supplies in these, so I use the zip ties. Seems to work. Um, I'm going to end up going with all the AIB cards on the bottom. Since this rig is so huge, I'm going to split them in the middle. Uh, I don't need eight slots uh, on each level. I only need six. But uh, I did end up having to put them in the center on the top row, just because the PCIe uh, cables wouldn't reach, unfortunately. A little bit on the strange side, but everything ended up fitting really well. And you can see with the six references in the middle slots, everything worked just fine. So I'm really happy with how that looks on the top, I have to say. I love those reference cards. She's a beauty, Clark. Trim some zip tie tails, but I'm going to tote it downstairs, we'll turn it on and see if it works at all, and then see if I got one of the 6700s and the 6800s switched around accidentally. Well, the first one was successful. The uh, Asus 6600 XT and the new 6800 needed to be swapped, but it's uh, hashing away. That thing takes 1100 watts at the wall. I just, I love that rig. So, this one, similar, uh, all Navi 2. And yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Shove it in one of these frames. This one has a little bit different uh, motherboard in it. Actually still uses uh, riser cards, but uh, yeah, it's been super reliable. So I'll move it over and hopefully we don't even need external fans anymore. Ooh, man, oh, hawking these things upstairs sucks. 
Well, here we have it all torn down. Um, there were several risers still using SATA. Uh, I'm going to obviously get rid of those. I have a lot more splitters now. So, don't have to use these. Um, there were there was another Molex only riser in there. Again, 6600s, these things don't draw almost any power. So it's really not that risky. However, what people don't realize is AMD cards tend to draw more power from the PCIe slot than uh, NVIDIA cards. So you could have a 3090 and a 6600 mining Kapow right next to each other, and the 3090 is actually going to be drawing less power from the SATA um, than the AMD card would. So just worth paying attention to. Uh, I really don't recommend using these, but again, as home miners like us evolve, we stop using stuff that could be considered dangerous. There's no burn marks or anything on these. Um, they were okay. I could have probably kept mining on those for five years, no problem. But again, it's just good to get rid of those and start using even inexpensive PCIe splitters like this for all of your risers. I think the result actually turned out all right. Uh, these have been running for about a week, I think, since moving over to the new frames and everything has been really solid. I do love the references up top. Those look fantastic. I do have them staggered over here. Excuse me, sir. Um, <laughs> they're needy. Uh, I only have two reference cards over here, so I just didn't feel like it was worth bringing them all together. Um, yeah, this rig is the B75. That rig's the B250. They look sweet with the lights off when they're running. Maybe I'll get one more clip um, before publishing this with the lights off, but uh, yeah, no, they've been solid. I am thinking about swapping them over from the ATX splitters to these guys. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these before, you plug in your secondary power supply ATX to this, you plug in a Molex from your primary, and this will uh, power up the second PSU directly off of the first one. So I've had some issues where you're shutting down a rig with dual PSUs, and it won't kill both the power supplies. So they won't shut off reliably, and it causes boot issues, where you can boot the rig and five, six GPUs will be offline. So I'm thinking about trying this if I run into any of that on these rigs more than maybe like once a week. That's kind of what I'm running into right now. Um, Octominer's still having a good time down here. PDU's still working great. And of course, all my smart plugs <laughs> for scheduling. Since my power is only cheap for 12 hours a day. But yeah, there they are. Pretty happy with how they turned out. I like these frames. Why are you so fucking needy? <laughs>